morning. Excuse the bottle. There's a very precarious edge, so I need to make sure that stays under my feet. So I've been taking photographs for about eight years now. And I've been to a lot of places, I've seen a lot of wonderful things with a lot of wonderful people. This morning was the best experience photographically I've ever had. As you can see, inversion. I got it at half past five and it is now five past nine. So I've had three and a half hours of this inversion and I don't think it's going anywhere for a considerable number of hours. When I arrived there was nobody here obviously and people started to arrive slowly. At one point there was about 20 plus people. I had a very good spot as I've already mentioned where when I was this is nice if you've got a a good a good white well not over there's nice if you've got a good wide angle you can get the road from the left sweeping right across the bottom right down into the valley the widest I've got is 24 full frame equivalent as I keep saying so I can't keep I can't stop looking at it it's absolutely amazing now the color for the sunrise it was okay the clouds for the sunrise they were okay but I did not care. To be honest, I didn't even notice the sun rising. I was that awe struck by this. You can't predict when it's going to happen. 100%, you can guess by certain temperature variations. If it's cold, low down, and warmer, higher up, the cold is trapped by the warm air, I believe. So this morning, as I said, I arrived in lots and lots of time. I spent a good hour composing. I upped my ISO to, I think, high one, which is probably equivalent of half a million, just so I could get the composition ready. And I hardly moved from that spot. I changed the orientation. I did a couple of panoramas, a couple of HDRs, and I've also managed to work out the time lapse the panning time lapse function on my gimbal so essentially what you do you put your gimbal on your tripod you put your camera in you do your settings you pick your start point and you pick your end point and the gimbal tracks a, does a panoramic time lapse I'm hoping they come out really well because say it's been a couple of years since I've and I've never actually managed to use it. I haven't slept. I stopped up, up the valley on a hill, so I kept slipping down to the bottom. After about an hour, when I just dozed off, I heard this on the window, police. I left my old tripod outside the door and the policeman said, don't leave anything here. There's gangs from Manchester that come up and they will take anything. That reassured me. Then a couple of cars screeched up, horns banging, screaming, a bit down the way, so I didn't feel so bad. They buggered off and I thought, I'm not stopping here. So I actually drove to the car parks down just above Hope, in between when it's Pass and, and Hope itself. And I got about half an hour sleep. Uh, but again, at that time, cars kept driving by. Anyway, I'm not moaning. Trust me, this has been absolutely amazing. I could probably get to Mamto and it will still be there. Yeah, it, it, at this time of year, it definitely is a sunrise location. The sun rose to my right and it illuminated all the sides, all the sides of the pass with some wonderful warm light. If you've never experienced a cloud immersion, you must. Absolutely amazing. You get gaps in the cloud where it thins out 
and as it moves across the valley you can see trees and houses through the gaps just had a very strange feeling I don't think I will ever get better weather conditions up when it's past or indeed Mamto, which I didn't go to today. I've never had that before. Never had that. Now whether they translate into the best photographs I could take or have taken of this area, I don't know. We shall see. That was a very enjoyable trip, one of my best trips ever. There's always that feeling that I hope I managed to capture what I saw. I will be disappointed if I haven't, slightly, but I will never forget that cloud inversion ever. It was epic. It really, really was. 21 photographers there. I arrived a good hour before anybody else. First one to arrive last one to leave that is how it's done anyway I need some sleep I need some food and it's gonna take me hours and hours to edit what I've taken I've taken HDRs where needed panoramas I've done time lapses on my camera I've done time lapses on my phone I've done panning time lapses with my gimbal I've done vlogs with my camera vlogs with my phone <sighs> wow <sighs> that really was epic anyway see ya